here you can see a Drupal 8 site on version 8.7.4, so it's definitely out of date. Let's see what the Automatic Updates module can provide. If we go into the Automatic Updates configuration, you can see the PSA feature, which pulls public safety announcements from Drupal.org and displays them directly in the admin interface. These PSAs can also be automatically emailed to the site administrator, as configured in the Update Manager. Next, we can run a readiness check to see if our site can be automatically updated safely. If the checks are unsuccessful, we might see a number of warnings and errors. These issues are most commonly caused by file permissions problems or by patching core contrib modules and must be resolved before you can use automatic updates. If the readiness checks are successful, we see a green message and can proceed with the update. Finally, we can see an experimental option to trigger the in-place update. Let's see what happens. In the background, the automatic updates module is getting an update package from Drupal.org, which contains all the file changes for this update, and it's overlaying them on the site. As we see here, that update was successful, and the site is now updated to version 8.7.8. .8. Once the automatic updates module is stable, this initial word can help protect a large number of small to mid-sized Drupal sites, especially those on Drupal 7.